Thank you, Matt. We continue to follow the trial of a convicted child killer. Closing arguments have been presented in the Christopher Clements retrial, and now the case is in the hands of the jury. Clements, if you recall, is accused of kidnapping and killing six-year-old Isabel Sellis, who went missing from her bedroom in 2012. Her body was later found in 2017. Last year, a mistrial was declared when the jury could not reach a verdict. Clements has already been convicted and is serving a life sentence for the death of 13-year-old Maribel Gonzalez. News for Tucson's Gabrielle Parrish is live from downtown with more on what happened in court today. Gabrielle. Sean, the jury is still deliberating in the courthouse behind me, trying to determine whether Clemens is guilty of first-degree murder, kidnapping, and burglary. Both, state both the state prosecutor and Clemens' attorneys told the jury their opening argument, I mean, excuse me, their closing arguments today. The state prosecutor called Clemens an unimaginable nightmare and told them that he was the only person who knew where Isabel's remains were. She also pointed out police found photos of many girls around Isabel's age on Clemens' iPad. His attorney counter is saying, so what? Those pictures have nothing to do with Isabel and accused the state of portraying Clemens as a creep. Clemens' attorney also argued that the cell phone tracking system lacks scientific evidence of its algorithm effectiveness used to pinpoint Clemens' location. Both the state and the defense attorney told juries that this is a circumstantial case, meaning Indirect evidence does not prove facts. Reporting live from downtown, I'm Gabrielle Parrish, News 4 Tucson.